Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video we will introduce you to our displacement auto bump feature, and see how it can help you achieve an incredible degree of fine detail in your materials, such as those created with Substance Designer. In the description of this video you will find a link to a blog post where we elaborate a bit on the inner mechanics of auto bump. Let's see how this works with a practical example. Let's go to the Substance Source web page and download the material we will be working on. We will pick a signature collections material. In particular, the one called Alien Rock Coral Formation, which features very interesting fine details. Let's download the SBSAR file. And let's open up the file in Substance Player, in order to pre-visualize it, and export its components as bitmaps. Let's switch over to the red coral preset, which we like in particular. Let's also set the resolution to 4K, to make sure that the exported maps capture enough detail. Let's go ahead and export as bitmaps. We pick an output path, and select PNG as the output format. Now we select the outputs. Keep in mind that Maverick is engineered to handle maps in metallic roughness workflow by default. For this reason, we will disable diffuse, specular, glossiness, and ambient occlusion. We export. And go back to Maverick. Importing the material in Maverick is as easy as using the Substance Designer button, and choosing any of the maps we just generated. Let's select the ambience where our material will be visualized. And let's leave the material configuration as it is, as the defaults often work great. Let's make sure, that displacement is enabled. Let's click on proceed, to get Maverick to import the 4K maps we created. And here we have our material. The first thing we'll do is adjust the displacement scale, because it seems too low for these rock formations. To this end, double click on the object to reveal its properties. You can alternatively select the object in the objects panel, in the displacement rollup, we can increase the height. We will try with 3 cm, knowing that the ball in this scene is 30 cm in diameter. This height looks spot on, as relief is much more apparent now. Let's play a bit with the lighting setup. Let's go ahead and try some other ambiences. Let's go to the library, in the lighting, ambiences, materials section. We like this one. Let's reposition the lights a bit with our normal light tool. To do so, we select a light in the lights panel, and enable the normal light tool. Then we can simply drag the light reflections around the ball. Let's pick another light, and do the same, and the same with the last light source. Be aware that the ambiences we have created to visualize materials deliberately feature a rather neutral lighting. It is okay to balance lights differently, depending on what material you are working on. Let's see how to easily mix the lights in the scene, with our light mixer panel. As in other videos, we start by turning all the lights off, and then turn them on one by one, adjusting their power and color individually. We can also go to the tone map panel to adjust overall contrast and midtones. Once we light the result, we can double click on the sphere again and get to the auto bump attribute. Auto bump can be found in the displacement rollup. Auto bump is set to 1 by default. An optimal choice for the epsilon attribute is to make it match the resolution of our maps, which happens to be 4K in this example. If we lower auto bump down to 0, we will see how only coarse details, the actual displaced geometry detail will survive. All fine details are muted. If we raise auto bump back up, we can see in real time how fine details emerge, up to the point where you decide. Let's come closer to the material, to better see its details. Again, lowering auto bump, fine details are dimmed. Raising auto bump, 
We can control how much fine detail we want, changing drastically the appearance of the material. Paying attention to different areas, we can see the auto bump magic happen. Let's go back to our home view. Now that we are done, we may want to change our thresholds for ultimate quality. To this end, we go to the render panel. In the subdivision and displacement rollup, we can set the max length attribute so displacement produces triangles below 0 6 mm each. We can do some final adjustments in auto bump now that the course geometry is very fine itself. It is easy to appreciate the incredible level of detail that we can obtain. Let's let the material cook and see the final result. Autobump is an incredible way to interactively leverage the amount of realistic fine details in your materials. We hope that this tutorial was helpful, and that you will make the most out of displacement autobump in your scenes. That's all for this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.